Ninth play of the Bronco drive. This is fourth and three at the Kansas City 38. A triangle to the far side, left side of the field. Wilson out of the shotgun, looks towards the triangle. Pressure, moves to his right. Chiefs trying to shadow him. They'll hit him and drag him out of bounds at the 41-yard line. A loss of three, and the Chiefs hold on downs. Justin Reed, who's been playing some football, Dane and Hughes, will get credit for a sack. Now the Chiefs with field position. First and 10 of the Bronco, 48. Out of the shotgun. Mahomes looks at a four-man front. Here comes pressure. He throws a pass. Caught at the 40. Now they shovel it back on the near side. Little hook and ladder. (laughs) As Travis Kelsey, the old option quarterback, options it back to Noah Gray, who sprints up the near sideline and out of bounds at the Bronco 36. A 12-yard catch and option pitch by Travis Kelsey to Noah Gray. Double tight right side for the Broncos on the near hash. 3-0 3-0 Kansas City. Play action fake by Wilson. He'll throw it. Left intercepted on the right side. He throws it to the right side and it's picked off. Nick Bolton, welcome back, man. That ankle feels real good right now. And Russell Wilson throws it right into the hands of Lone Star Ranger from Frisco, Texas, Nick Bolton. The Chiefs have the football back, leading 3 to nothing on an athletic interception by Nick Bolton. Humphrey squats, looks at the defense. They're showing pressure right in the middle. They're going to bring extra pressure. Mahomes in the pocket, being flushed in the pocket, and fires it late. He's got Kelsey. First down at the Bronco 30-yard line. Mahomes looks back, a frustrated Nick Benito. It's a 15-yard gain by Mahomes, throwing across his body to his old buddy Kelsey. Benito thought he had Patrick Mahomes sacked. Yeah, just a speed rush by Benito around Donovan Smith. Didn't expect Patrick not only to escape the pocket, but have enough to put juice on the ball to Travis Kelsey. Mahomes, again the shotgun, slings it in the near flat. It goes to Pacheco, trying to put on a juke move, and then he runs over one defender, runs into Simmons, and has nine yards. And with that completion, Patrick Mahomes now sets a new Kansas City Chiefs team record for completions in a career, passing the late, great Len Dawson who did it in 14 seasons. Mahomes does it in basically five seasons and seven games as a starting quarterback. Jet action coming to the near side. Mahomes fakes a handoff. Lost a corner out caught by Kelsey inside the 10 and rolls down to the 7 yard line. A corner out of 20 yards against Pat Sertan who a corner trying to handle Kelsey man to man. Well we talked about this earlier. He's going to see a multitude of different defenses Pat Sertan, the best defender, pass defender on the Broncos roster. But this touch pass over the head of Josie Jewell right into the hands in stride of Travis Kelsey. Chiefs right back ringing the doorbell again. Chiefs have been inside the 20 four times in this game. Shotgun snap. Outlaw caught near side. Touchdown, Kansas City. Kadarius Toney on the quick out. And the Chiefs finally break down the door and take some nectar. Yeah, first and ten, Russell Wilson bootleg. He loves it. It's knocked down. As playing pickleball that time was George Karloftis. He had like two pickleball paddles that time and just swatted down the bootleg attempt going left to right by Russell Wilson. He had the receiver open. Yeah, that's a clinic displayed by Karloftis taking away any kind of view Russell Wilson, not the tallest quarterback, has to try to go side on there. Karloftis gets the job done. Karloftis has his pickleball paddles out again. <laughs> Second and ten. Under center, Wilson sprint out action. On third and short, Chiefs are chasing him. They're going to get him and sack him back at the 30-yard line. A loss of three. Drew Tranquil gets his second sack this season. She's playing press coverage. Showing blitz. Here comes pressure to the outside. Wilson's taken down. Taken down by Chris Jones. Five straight games to open a season for Chris Jones with the sack. That is an all-time Chiefs record. Eclipsing the late, great Derek Thomas back in 1996. So make it a 61-yard attempt. 61-yard attempt. It'd be the second longest of Butker's career and the second longest in Chiefs history. If they can get it at the end of the half. Placement is down. Butker's kick. Strong leg. Strong leg. And it is good. 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 Just inside the far upright. Harrison Butker. But 
kicker with the bionic leg just nailed a 60 plus yard field goal 61 yard officially with tricky wins and the Chiefs lead 13 to nothing going into halftime. Tony comes in motion right to left. Chiefs are two by two. They go on a quick slant. Caught Rice at the 20, inside the 15, and drags a Bronco inside the 10, down to the eight yard line. Rushy Rice with the pickup on a slant and run of 23 yards. How about the acceleration by Rashi Rice there? Protects the ball in traffic, but he does an excellent job of accelerating. We saw that last week on a couple of occasions. Catches it in traffic, and he goes. And he can break tackles. Now a slant is tipped in the air. Intercepted. Intercepted by Kansas City at the 35-yard line. Intercepted by Justin Reed. His eighth career interception. But the Chiefs get another tip pass at the line of scrimmage and stop the Broncos on third down conversions. Tony lines up in the backfield. They're going to come. Rusty Rice at the 50. Reese Rice to the near side and an ankle tackled and tripped up by Kareem Jackson. Or he might have had a touchdown all the way down to the Bronco 40-yard line. Rushy Rice with a gain of 27 yards for the Chiefs. Yeah, just a, a mix-up in the defense and linebacker's responsibility. Josie Jewell vacates his area. And then, as I mentioned earlier, Rushy Rice, that ability to get north-south so quickly putting pressure on the defense 16 to 8 Kansas City at the two-minute warning ball will be right to left and the Butker's kick is up he lines it up and he smokes that baby home but kicker having a night and a season a 52-yard field goal to put the Chiefs back up by two possessions at 19 to 8 well, the Broncos, Chiefs lead it 19 to 8, 149 to go in the game. Now he swings it in the right flat, and the Chiefs make a great open field tackle. The ball comes out, and it looks like Kansas City's got the football at the 25-yard line of Denver. Trent McDuffie puts the hit on the receiver, Jaleel McLaughlin, and Trent McDuffie continues to force fumbles for this team, his third forced fumble in six weeks. Yeah. Not being talked about enough on the national level. This defense and how well they're playing. And the Chiefs beat the Broncos 19 to 8. It is the third longest streak in National Football League history by one team over an opponent since 1970.